guys, it's Kimber from The Pinning Mama. I just wanted to um, say welcome back to lesson three in our Silhouette Bootcamp. Um, if you are new here, Silhouette Bootcamp is all about taking many little bites and chunks of the Silhouette software and breaking them down and learning how to really use it so you can um, design your hard way and anything you can imagine and um, make with your Silhouette. Anyways, today our lesson is how to... Um, curve text or put text on a path or a shape. It's also commonly uh, called in the Silhouette software convert to path. So basically what we're doing is we're taking a line of text and then we're converting it um, to a path that we're using from a shape or something else. So the most simplest way to show you this is just how to curve text in its most basic form. I'm gonna use the ellipse tool, which is just the circle in your menu bar right here on the side. And um, if you wanna make a perfect circle, a little shortcut is to hold down the key shift and then drag it out and it'll make a perfect circle rather than kind of a oval that you can never get quite right. Um, so if I make my circle, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger just so y'all can see it well, but it can be any size. Um, then this is going to be my path. A path is going to be any, basically any shape, any cut line that you want to form your text to. So I'm going to use that right there. Then I'm going to get my text tool and I'm going to say um, how to curve text. Oops, text. And what you'll notice is when you write that, there is a green bounding box around it, um, as well as this little kind of plus sign arrow guy right here. Um, if you click off of it, that's gone. And if you click back, you'll just get this normal bounding box. When you are going to curve your text, you not only need your shape, you need your text, you need it to have that green box. So to get it back, I'm just gonna double click on it so the text becomes editable again, um, and it'll come back. What I'm gonna do now is grab that little plus sign with my mouse and drag it over and as soon as that plus sign hits that path, it hops onto it. So you can see um, it's on there. You can also drag it around so that it's positioned however you want it. And then your text will be curved. Now, right here, your text is curved. It's following the path. Um, it's still editable. I can double click in there. I can still change it if I wanted to change it to um, this is my round text. It'll change. Um, I can also continue to type if I wanted to see, I don't know how many letters or words I need to get that complete circle, I can keep typing. Um, so you can still edit it um, while it's on there. Let's see. The other thing I wanted to show you on this, let me delete that just to give you a better um, example, is um, that you can also do a few changes with this. Double click if you want to make changes, state it back in there. Um, I want to highlight it all and I'm going to show you I can also change the letter spacing. So if you're trying to fit a little bit more in or it's looking a little funky to you, use this character spacing um, function right here and just drag that in or out to help it fit exactly how you want it on there. The other thing you can do um, right here is use this little slider to move it off your circle. So if you wanted it to be kind of above um, the circle or follow right in that middle of that line or you can move it inside that line. You notice when we move it inside that the text now kind of starts to overlap and it doesn't work as good. So that'd be a good example of where I want to edit that character space. And so now I'm going to just pull it out a little bit more um, until it's just how I want it and let it go. So that is how we're gonna um, do that. Another trick that I wanted to show you is that um, if you have this right here, you can also, let's see, you can also drag it so that it goes on the inside of the circle. And you can see how it'll, oops, it'll form right there on the inside of the circle. If you want it to go the other direction, when you drag it on, it kind of only goes one direction you're gonna to have to use um, the slider. So if I wanted it to go on the circle but have the text go in the other direction, I can just move it in like this and it does it. Um, and that's basically how you're gonna get your rounded text. I'm gonna show you a second way we do this. Um, let's do a new tab. I'm gonna go into my library real quick. And I'm gonna grab this heart shape. Make it a little bit bigger so it's easy to see. And then I'm gonna um, start typing text. And I can take it and 
apply it on my heart. If I wanted my text, say I'm typing the lyrics to All You Need Is Love, and I want it to be in the shape of a heart, I can pop it on there. I can continue to type. I'm not typing it out. I'm just going to type some letters to give you the idea, and it'll continue to type. Um, you kind of have to play with it sometimes because it will overlap right here. So what you might need to do is delete and make sure it ends um, right before that. So you still get the heart shape, but um, it's not overlapping. Again, we can play with the character spacing on this to make it look a little better, to get more on there. If some is overlapping, maybe we space it out, um, etc. And we can move it on or off the heart. So that's the basics on how you um, curve and manipulate text with shapes in Silhouette Studio. It's super simple. I hope you all have a ton of fun using it because there's a lot of really cool um, applications to do that for. Um, stay tuned next week because next week we are going to talk about the crop tool and the crop tool is pretty much so awesome and there's so many really, really cool things you can do with it. So I'm super excited to tell you all about that and we will see you next week. Thanks again. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.